I'm your worst nightmare. This video is brought to you in part by London Knife Crime and American Gun Violence because a chest full of Teflon and a K-bar slid betwixt your ribs makes you feel like a new man. Well, it's patch day, and of all the updates we've had since the start of Darktide, it's probably the one that's opened up the most variety for players. From shotguns to infantry auto guns, the kickback, plasma, hell, even the bayonet, basically most of the weapons that were languishing and forgotten about got some tender love and care here, to the point where you should be seeing way more builds and playstyles from Heresy, all the way up to Auric Maelstrom. There's some really fun stuff to show off in the coming days. In the meantime though, I had been working on getting footage for a veteran commando playstyle, centered around the Katachan combat blade and a whole lot of Daka. Thankfully the patch hasn't changed a whole lot on that front, so most of what I show and talk about here will still apply just fine. In lieu of the jungle fighter slime Marbo outfits we don't have quite yet, rocking a slightly more bundled up aesthetic, but the approach to combat is everything you'd expect from a Katachan jungle fighter, and it's a fantastic way to get carpal tunnel if you're into that sort of thing. Seriously, play this for about three runs, you will have osteoporosis, rheumatoid arthritis, and ruptured ligaments in your left pinky and right pointer finger, and that's just going to be the start of all the ailments on your horizon. But hey, the heretics will be bleeding out everywhere on screen. Worth it. Really the only thing we're missing here is a buoy knife, some poop covered punji sticks, and maybe an IED or two. Maybe I'd take a grenade launcher as well, but here's the deal. Slime Marbo is a menace. He stabs, he shoots, he blows stuff up, and when he's in the danger zone and things get too hot, he melts back into the tree line waiting for that perfect opportunity to strike once again. By going down the right side of the veteran tree, you're getting all kinds of useful rending, melee, and crit chance bonuses, and it heavily incentivizes a playstyle where you're constantly shifting back and forth between your melee and ranged weapon. In contrast to squad leader, and especially sharpshooter, this is a very active playstyle. In a lot of ways, I think it's more fun, because you're not just sitting back shooting everything from afar, you're in the thick of it and constantly utilizing your entire kit. On the braced auto gun, hit and run and strip down give us a ton of uptime where we're immune to range fire, and if our toughness happens to break, we just press F, turn invisible, and get our full overshield back instantly. On the knife, flesh terror is essential right now. Bleed damage was reduced from 200 to 175 today, but it was 40 before the update, so you're not gonna feel that one too bad. Bleed is still really strong, especially on a weapon that is constantly critting. Now, there are a lot of people who like Lacerate, and that's fine if you want to run it, whether that be on your Zealot or your Vet, you can make it work, but you are doing the weapon a disservice. The combat knife is a headshot weapon first and foremost. You want to click heads with it. So stacking bleeds on non-weak spot hits is kind of the exact opposite of how you should be using it. You're simply getting way more DPS by going for the dome, just like Rambo would. In that second blessing slot, Uncanny Strike is great for stacking rending on continued headshots, charged heavies on crushers, maulers, that sort of thing, but we are running crack grenades here, so you don't necessarily need all that rending for the single targets, the heavily armored stuff. You're gonna have options for blowing them up anyway. And Riposte is great for the extra crit chance on successful dodge, which you'll be doing a lot with this weapon. 
Remember, Reciprocity and Duck and Dive are already encouraging you to dodge and slide a bunch in your gameplay, so you're getting even more rewards for playing the way that should come naturally to the setup. The one major downside of this loadout, and I have run into it a couple of times in my play sessions, I've run this build a lot, is that your clutch potential when Invis is on cooldown simply cannot compare to an Ogren or a Zealot, no matter how well you play. When you have access to your invis, you've got six seconds and you can definitely get into range, get a res off, do a lot of things other classes can't necessarily, but you're on cooldown a lot of that time and it's a long one. A zealot can completely stop and reset a horrible situation, kite the whole map, plop two fire nades down and kill everything on screen. Commando vet doesn't have that same, I can survive any situation, no matter what type of energy when this ult's on cooldown. So you gotta be smart with when you use it, because when you come out of invis, you're pretty squishy, especially because we don't have confirmed kill and iron will, which is that toughness crush that makes Vet feel unkillable sometimes. So this tests your fundamentals and movement a bit more, but in some ways I like that. Honestly, the crack grenade, auto gun, combat knife playstyle, shifting in and out of invis, stabbing people in the head, bleeding entire hordes and constantly repositioning, it's super fun. And with all the new buffs to shotguns and infantry auto guns, I think the slime Marbo playstyle is going to be even better with the new patch that came today. Obviously, I haven't had the time to test that yet. We'll find out in the coming days, but I have a feeling it's still going to be really good and perhaps even better than what you see in this gameplay here. Got some really fun clutches and a super smooth, high intensity shot gauntlet gameplay to show off the build today. So hope y'all enjoy it and more to come very soon. Alright, back up. Back up! <laughs> back up! A lot of stuff coming. When that toughness breaks, time to go invis. That's your cue, right then. <laughs> you can take a nap right over there! Okay, that was really cool. Little rescue operation. Oh, hi! That's a lot of stuff. A bit surprised I got the res there. Grab the nades! I have grenade regen. I don't want to grab them. But I will. Thank you. I didn't even drop. Don't drop, dude. <laughs> we have free kills. Oh, I bleed! Shoot out of corn cultists! I am not gonna be move checking the combat knife today. My finger has been systematically destroyed by playing this goddamn weapon. It's so fun, but it is so painful. I 
I really need to look into getting mods that will just attack for me so I don't have to just, or some kind of macro. Cause it's brutal, dude. This game, man. The Tide games in general, but especially Dark Tide with the sliding on my left pinky. Bro. It is pain. And part of it is I'm becoming an old man. Boy, holy balls, we are moving really fast. This is like way smoother. Than I'm used to in high intensity shotgun with pubs. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. I guess we got a patrol. I didn't see it. Somehow. That was sick. Unfortunately, I did have to bust out the AK today, so at least according to Ice Cube, it was not a good day. Then again, we are smoting heretics, so I think the Emperor is pleased at least. I am liking the pace. I'm liking the pace so far. Pace is important. On these Auric missions. A lot of pubs... Kind of get bogged down. The longer you're on the map, the more special spawn, the more chances you have to get overwhelmed. I think our boys here know what they're doing, which is good. That is one thing I will say. I feel like the average player skill, maybe it's just because the characters are stronger in this game than they are in Vermintide. I think I do, at least on this patch, I feel like that. You have more room to make mistakes in Dark Tide. But people seem to be more competent on the really high level stuff, on average. Than certainly something like Legends and Vermintide too. But yeah, I do think a lot of that is simply down to like how powerful some of these ultimate abilities and weapons are now. Kind of covers any deficiencies you might otherwise have in your playstyle. Which is true for me as well, I'm sure. I mean, I'm making fun of her, but if I was being abused by a mutant, I'd probably do the same thing. Plus a bit of poop in my pants. Kill that. I'm not a sharpshooter. Thank you. I love those little combat twirlies he's got going. Like half the reason to run knife. Oh my, oh my lord. You won't, mate! Give me your spleen. You won't! 
taste these cheeky Nandos. Uh, this is not a good spot. I really don't want to be here. Oh my god, my fingers! So what I've been doing is try to help mitigate the carpal tunnel a little bit here. Is when I know I don't need to dodge a whole lot, I can just like spam with my middle finger instead of my pointer finger, but... That's only when I know I don't need a block. Honestly, if Fat Shark was truly OSHA compliant, they would just... OSHA. <laughs> yeah, it's, def it's definitely OSHA. It's workplace safety. I don't know what the word for it would be. They would uh, just add macros to the game so that people don't have to do this themselves and like find weird third-party virus sites. Or buy $800 mice. It seems like functionality should just be in Tide games. Like, they should know. They're playing tied games is death for your fingers. I'm probably gonna, like when I'm 50, I'm gonna have gnarled ass like grandma hands. It'll be bad. It'll just be because of, it's not just because of combat knife. <laughs> and tax and others are almost as bad. Oh yeah. Them cracks though. Have another. We're going in. Squad is pimping it up. Oh, I jinxed him. I should have said nothing. Honestly, who gets netted? Never happened to me, not once, not ever. Yeah, special sounds on high intensity shot gauntlet, it's definitely, it's not just here, but it's, it's a aggravated here. They don't always play. Silent special is definitely a thing. I am cut off. The first breather we've had. <laughs> That's really fun. So yeah, there is move attack for this thing where you can sprint and do charge attacks and you'll move faster than just sprinting would afford. It's like sprint slide, charge heavy. It covers more ground, but yeah, like I said, I'm not gonna bother with it this run, or really any run. It's a lot of clicking for only marginal gain. Couple of shanks in the face. I should be a dead boy. All bricked up on a Thursday afternoon. Brace to auto gun is real good. I don't know what it's gonna be like after the patch. I know infantry auto guns are getting way better. Like way better, way more ammo. 
bunch of other useful things. But I am really enjoying this setup. Very flexible. I've always been a huge fan of mobility in fight games. Having more effective dodge count, having more speed. Just lets you reposition when things get bad. Of course, things get horrible. You press F, get all your toughness back, and you got eight full seconds to do what you gotta do. But yeah, the toughness regen on this build is, is lacking, for sure. There's no question about it. Outside the instant invis replenishment, it's... That and the damage reduction... Whoa, you went flying! You definitely feel like you're missing a few things with this build, that like a sharpshooter just standing in the middle of an open room, killing a million elites, doesn't have to worry about, because... You basically have just infinite toughness regen like that. You feel kind of unkillable. With those two important nodes in the middle tree. We don't have those right now. But confirm the kill and whatever the hell the other one is. Let me go help my friends. I don't know what he's doing. What are you doing, Gabsy? Goobsy? Looking for some crafting mats? Trying to get us some of that plasteel though. Boy! They haven't addressed that plasteel issue yet, have they? <laughs> yeah, crafting hasn't really changed. That still needs uh, quite a bit of work. Quite happy with everything else though, over the last couple patches. Which I'm gonna crack, dude! Won't be seen. Can't be stopped. Oh, this is awkward. This is actually not good. This is not ideal. There is not a lot of cover here. Oh no, please. The drugs do more toughness damage, please! There, there's a point when this game first came out that scabs had a big multiplier when your toughness was down. Like, they would shred your health bar. And drags were better at taking getting rid of your toughness, but didn't do anywhere near as much health damage. I think that got normalized a little bit. An absolutely terrible location. I don't want to fight here. Let me out. I'm trying to get around this dude. Stack a few bleeds up on the weak spot, that'd be nice. Ow. There we go. Oh! Help me! Oh, you know what? I completely forgot I had cracks. That whole Beast of Nurgle fight. I don't know why I forgot that. I guess I could have just cracked it. That would have made that boss fight a little bit easier, right? Mobby? I 
god, I had to grenade range on No, I don't think Vet should get free pathing in his invis. Because frankly, I'm not entirely sure there should be invis for Zella and Vet anyway. Ow, 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 ow. But those situations where you go invis and you're still just completely stuck, really annoying. Peyton Manning! Oh my god, how many trappers was that? It sounded like there were like 17 that just spawned. I don't know if that was looping voice lines from the one, or if that was literally like four or five trappers all on the map. I only saw two. That's creepy sounding. Yeah, that right there is the uh, weakness of the brace auto gun. <laughs> God, I really want long last with a scope for sharpshooter. I really want that. There, there it is again. The weird looping sounds. I have no ammo. I don't think we've ever had a weapon in any of the tiny games that has actual magnification. I mean, there's obviously some zoom, but no real scopes. An actual sniper rifle with like four times scope, literally just port the shit over from, from the sniper special. I want to be able to blow people in half with like a super powered cleave weapon, single shot. Bring the exact same sound though. Oh, the decaps, the blowing dudes, the flak dudes in half. Give me the sniper's weapon that already exists in game. I want to use it. Obviously, that's one of like 800 weapons I want to see, but. Thank you for the ammo, sir. Got a little bit hairy with that Beast of Nurgle, but other than that, it's been, I mean, I, I say it's been real smooth. I look at the health bars and everyone's in all purple, but yeah, like I said, just, just the Beast of Nurgle. Can't really do anything about that spawn. I should have cracked it. It is what it is, but overall, been pretty, pretty smooth. The team definitely knows what they're doing. I like it. Not the easiest finale though. Not in high intensity. When they get those uh, gun lines going, coming out of this spawn point right here, it can get pretty ugly, especially in pubs. I might have to. Yeah, I'm have to play some. Uh, do some infiltrating into their back lines here. It might be fun. Because the gun lines are gonna spawn, right? Like the pox are gonna come up. Can't deal with that sniper, I can't do anything about that. Then they kind of meet shield. And the gunners are all gonna be in the middle of the map. Sometimes at elevation. Which should get pretty ugly when they get entrenched. Let's see what the bombers. I'm gonna do it now before it gets like too ridiculous. Is this dangerous? Oh, 
hell, it just killed 12 scabs or something? Might have been a problem. And that is the fun thing with this build, too. It's like... When you see those dangerous situations starting to develop, yeah, you've got to have some faith in your own abilities, of course, because once you break invis, you're going to be very isolated. But there are times where breaking off from your team to do stuff like that is 100% worth it. To make a big impact. Pretty small gun line for high intensity. I'm kind of surprised there weren't that many scabs there. I've definitely played this finale where there's like 30 shooters there, but it might be because we just caught it early. We let them stack up. Okay, that's super unfortunate. Didn't like that at all. Ow! Alright, we're in, we're in danger. We have the trapper. I shot the flamer and then the Pox Burster immediately was like, 180, boop, I know where you are now, I know where you live, son. RKO'd me from around the corner. It's alright, we're healed up. One final push, baby. Get poppin'. This event's actually been very subdued. I don't know why this what, this what? Uh, he just blocked my crack with his face and killed his buddy for it. There's not a whole lot spawning right now for high intensity shotgun. I don't know why. Oh, there, yeah, there we go. There's some stuff. Dodge there. God, the knife is good. Oh, he's floating under the train. Ah, this thing just rips and tears! My ligaments! <laughs> Good stuff, boys. That was a fun run. So yeah, that is the Slime Marbo build, the Rambo build. I, you could really throw quite a few different things into the uh, the range side of this. And honestly, you could probably rock chain sword and some other melee weapons as well. But you can make shotgun work. Grenade launcher may one day come for vet. I would not mind seeing like a branching sub tree for Katachan jungle fighter stuff. Something with like traps explosives, IEDs, that kind of thing, but a lot of the elements of the Catachan Jungle Fighter are already in the game. That playstyle is very much a uh, slime marble type of playstyle, and the uh, braced auto gun and the knife together, yeah, it does some work. Kind of a, a return to basics almost, like fundamental gameplay. Good stuff.